guys. Bright and early here, beautiful Daytona Beach. Trailer Swift is getting some serious repairs done before we start making our way up to the East Coast of America. So Justice has taken upon himself to be the engineer of the group and captain getting our brakes done yet again, as well as some electrical issues that are inside the coach, like our fridge isn't working, some of the lights are dying out, and it's just, we've got some short circuity things going on, which is unfortunate. But we're gonna seize the day I think we're going to spend most of the day planning out the rest of the trip. So where we're going to stop, um, what we're going to do, all the different cities we're going to visit. And then what we're going to do hopefully is post a nice little schedule. And then y'all can check on it and see if you can link up with us in different places. Anyways, i got to help Justice back out. Ladies and gentlemen. If you have never heard that sound before, that is the that is the death sound of our brakes and our bearings. It's awful. <laughs> well done, Justice. Look at that tight fit, ladies and gentlemen. This guy knows what he's doing. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> the uh, the butt swung out, almost hit the pillar. I'm gonna get you to back straight out a bit more, okay? <laughs> Holy! Show you how close that was. Oh, I think we got half an inch on the whole thing. Justice! Oh man, this pole will be the death of us. Nice, he cleared it. That was a very sticky situation. The worst thing is when you're driving in the morning, there's so much glare in the mirrors, I can barely see you, so I'm glad you're here. Well, hopefully that coffee's helped you out a bit. Oh yeah, we're good. All right, All right so man. you've got Siri on hands-free and she's gonna help you out for the day? Yeah, definitely hands-free, man. It's only a 14 hour, or 14 hour. Uh, 14 minute, hour drive? 14 minute drive away. And uh, yeah, let's make this, uh, this baby great again. I'll see you shortly. Yeah. Well, that was interesting. Anyways, I'm gonna tune out because I gotta drive and figure out exactly where I'm going, and it's free of course. So yeah, see you on the other side. The last week or so has just been such a gallop that we actually weren't even able to put up the last video on time. So anyways, right now, you know, we've been doing so many activities, so much stuff for the last few, like week probably. We had a really jam-packed itinerary, and now that's over. Now we're gonna chill. The videos will probably get a little bit less exciting, but our lives will get a little bit easier. Here's where we are now. We are in Daytona Beach. This is the Bahama House. Uh, can we call this my house? The Bahama. Please. <laughs> Please, right? Well, it is your house for the next little bit. Lovely hotel room, and we're catching up on some work, and some rest, and some beauty sleep, fixing and charging. The best part about this place is this view. Check that out. That's the Atlantic Ocean. And this is us. This is our little balcony patio with reflective glass. We've got a pool downstairs. Couldn't really ask for a better view. We've got, uh, we've got another night at this hotel. It's just the most perfect spot for chilling out and relaxing. All right, just landed here in the Walmart in Daytona Beach. And we are stopped here to get some work done on our RV. We've got a mobile truck service coming along and it's gonna rectify most of the problems that we're having with the RV. I'll let you guys in on the loop. We've got brake problems and we got bearing problems. Every time we're trying to stop, we get this deafening squeaking noise that just doesn't sound good. It doesn't make us feel good. We want our brakes to work and we kind of want to stop. The bearings here, one of these tires is just, every time we're driving at a high speed, you can hear it, especially when a car drives by and you can just hear the echoing off in the driver's side window. It's, it's, it's not a good feeling. So we're taking the day, we're gonna get some work done. Um, the guy's coming in about 20 minutes and uh, he's gonna spend about four hours working on the brake pads, checking out the bearings and everything. And hopefully by the end of the day, we're gonna have a happier, Quieter trailer swift. Fingers crossed, guys. Fingers crossed. Check this out. <laughs> All right. Now that, my friends, is uh, salt. And uh, if you're fully aware, like we are, we're in the salt flats driving around, and uh, <laughs> it's just caked on into the interior of the tire here. So that's yeah. That's crazy. So maybe we didn't do the best job of cleaning out trailer swift when we went to the salt flats, but uh, here we have it. Well, we first pulled the pads off on excessive wear, just uh, a poor quality pad for this weight of a vehicle. 
uh, we pulled the dust cover off the back of the pad you see where it's heated up that's just an inferior material that is not stopping look good. too much weight what this pad was designed for glad you're here so i'm really happy to tell you that there's also these brake pads we got here that are designed for trailer swift it doesn't say on it but it says trailer swift right on it they're more heavy duty ones that are not gonna squeak and wear down as fast but we're getting the good stuff now so that's making me feel a bit better about today's situation <laughs> We should have been a bit more responsible after the salt flats. Like, of course, we like power washed. We, we spent like $30 power washing the bottom of the RV. But none of us knew that the wheels, like the wheel behind the second wheel, was going to be full of salt. That is so silly. What yeah. do we think? Like, we have been taking this thing into the depths of hell. Hell and oh, back. Literally, remember like, some of those hills that we took that it almost yeah. didn't we make it up? We went to Death out? Valley. Yeah. We went on like a couple mountains into the snow. We went into the salt. We went into the beach. Like, <laughs> where have we not gone? The like, sun. The ocean. Almost. I need to say something. Do and y'all might not be down. But over there, on the beach, Cars can drive on the beach. Yeah. I've seen lots of cars drive on the yeah. beach. There's cars parked on the beach right now. I think, you know, trailer surf's doing way better than she ever has. Let's go take her for a beach drive. But look, there's a car right there. There's cars over there. Two cars driving over there. How do they do it? Oh my gosh. All right, we gotta gut the crap out of Taylor Swift and then we were getting it detailed so that these stains <laughs> go the hell away. Are you going solo? Make it great again, Justice. Yeah, Make Trailer Swift great again! Make Trailer Swift great again! I live in Orlando. Yeah. And so I came all the way down to Orlando and see if I can hang out with my life. Or find Look at that! So I, so I messaged you guys and he said over here, so I was like, okay. So I came over. I went down, I went on the beach and I went for a walk all the way down to the pier. And I came back to move my car. And my car got stuck, completely stuck in the sand. And so I had the lifeguard, the lifeguard pulled me out, but the front of my car, right underneath it, like this little plastic thing, just got ripped, ripped oh, apart, gosh. which has happened before. But uh, I didn't have any zip ties to fix it, so I had to walk all the way down to 7 Island, which is about three miles down. Oh, shit. So I parked here because I saw your guys' Snapchat. You're working, you know, just working in the awesome view. I saw the Snapchat and I was like, oh, I know that. So uh, sad. So I parked right in here because I knew this is the, the yeah. hotel. And then I just walked down and came back and you guys were here. I was like, oh, you man, found us. Awesome. Shit, awesome. awesome. I got all my friends on FaceTime here so say hi. Uh -huh. say hi everybody. What up, boys? Josh drove all the way from Orlando to cruise the beaches of Daytona in search for the high in life guys. This awesome guy who literally graduated college today brought us some donuts. Boom, yeah. baby. They, well, they were, a couple hours ago, they were hot and ready. Yes! Oh man, those are my like favorite. Crispy Grizzles. I don't have any napkins. Okay, well, okay, it's going in right now. We'll be all right, I think. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, you my friend. Cheers. Donut friends, this is rad. Thank you, man. How many Krispy Kremes could you eat? I could probably eat half a dozen in one sitting. No, I think I've done like nine. Cool. I feel like I could do 12. Quick. I just wouldn't feel great afterwards. Yeah. Krispy right. Kremes are really easy to get oh, down. because They are. They're light, man. Yeah. They'll only be good with safe. Yeah. We never mm. used to. So good. Yeah. So much We've for We've been dinner. eating very poorly on this trip. You're a graduated professional editor, so now when we yes. murder Josh, I mean, when Josh leaves us, um, <laughs> you can take over, right? Uh, join the, the, join the crew? I would totally love to. Perfect. Oh. Hey, Josh. Hey, Josh. <laughs> hey, Josh. Hey, Josh. Meet Josh. Josh, meet Josh. He's got a gift for you. Hey, how's it going for me? I got, I got donuts. Oh, yeah. donuts! <laughs> 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 Careful, I got sober. <laughs> Crazy. I'm gonna put a shirt on. You got a solid, <laughs> solid burn, bro. Oh, yeah. burn. Roasted. I am roasted. <laughs> roasted, Paisa. Um, yeah. Dig in, my friend. Yeah. Oh, that's dinner. Oh. I hate you, I damn mic. Oh, your butt. Hi. Oh, no way. You can film Hi. with Dina. Hi. I'm gonna fall.